did a review on this, but I guess not. This game was really good. And I actually beat it because it was like, I'm pretty sure it was a pre-owned game. And I beat it from there because it was just like, I looked it up on YouTube and it was actually like, just a little bit past the part that I got stuck on. And I beat all the bosses. And this one actually is a little bit more diverse than the actual game that I actually haven't played. Like the console version. But there's boss battles like the Rhino and um... There's also that one girl, I forget her name, but she was a pretty fun boss battle. Protecting Black Cat was pretty a pretty cool fight. Um, there was also the Shocker boss battle, which I think was pretty easy. They always do Shocker dirty in the in like any Spider-Man game. Maybe all it will take will him to show up in like Marvel Avengers 2 and then or just be another one of those DLC missions and it'll actually be tough and looking at it I did delete the one and that one I actually got to like a boss battle with um big wheel guy but I have one that it's only a minute and 28 seconds. I had just started it because I loved replaying the game. And then there's another one where I got like two hours in in 16 minutes and 39 seconds. And then obviously my current one, five hours and 25 minutes and 22 seconds. At one point, I had a black suit that I really liked and I lost it when I accidentally restarted. Oh, I forgot about that. There's um that one thing where you can have green web and white while you're the Peter Parker Spider-Man. There's some suits you can earn. And I had two of them on one that I accidentally restarted. And it's not even the one where the guy was halfway through the game. He didn't even have any suits. But I had got like one black suit and a stealth suit. But I still did pretty good. I got the web hammer and stuff. I really like to use the web hammer during combat. And oh yeah, those creepy little things that look like werewolves. Those were annoying, especially the green ones. The game was decent, but it was like a maze on the DS. And it would just get lost everywhere. And the combat was pretty fun. For a DS game for me anyway. Well that's about it.